Hey everyone, I hope you're having a blessed day. My name is Johannes Teclab, just uh, coming in today to make a video response to the learning form number two of sacred music history. Uh, there's three questions and I'm gonna try to answer them within five minutes. The first one is what parallel can be drawn between gospel quartets of the 50s and modern Christian artists today? The first one that I can think of is, based on our many readings and research, gospel quartets music emerged from different traditional of harmony singing of the day or in the 50s. It was, it was very popular back then. And so they took that and in, infused it with a Christian message. Uh, and it was available even to people that don't come to church. Uh, though it was inspired by traditional quartet groups, it highlighted it highlighted the experience of salvation and conversion, uh, the transformation of God, how God meets His people at a point of need. Uh, so the gospel quartets were uh, reached beyond the four walls of the church. They were also traveling uh, messengers, if you will want to put it that way. They took the gospel from through songs from city to city. And so the parallel that I can draw, even CCM, contemporary Christian music was uh, in its origin when it emerged in the 1970s, uh, it it took on uh, the, the sounds of the era, the rock and roll of the 70s uh, inspired CCM, contemporary Christian music. Um, and so it was mightly used to reach the young people and in the language and in the sounds that they that resonated with them in so today in steps with the american pop music contemporary music is one of the fastest growing music genre um so in the 50s the court the group of the quartets became popular because it resonated with the culture of the day and it spoke um uh, far beyond the people that would come to the church so i draw those parallels from it uh, uh, also they we saw them traveling in the 50s they also in our days even let's look at maverick city for instance they go from city to city they take their songs um i think the difference that i see is uh there are much more uh social media platforms uh to get this christian this the modern christian uh, music artists um, more popular, faster at a faster race because of YouTube, Facebook, and uh, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. There are a lot of platforms. And in the 50s, all they had was the radio. Uh, and, and so I could also draw a parallel that they, they both make a living uh, from, um, you know, the gospel infused message. The Christian, uh, contemporary Christian music artists are making money and and they are they were also making uh that i would say uh the second question is how do you feel about christian artists who become popular outside of the church i have a mixed feeling about this question because i've seen uh people get popular and that god used it mightily to bring many multitudes that would people that would never come to the church come to church because of them and so sometimes uh, the danger is that um, there is a tendency, a tendency, and a, a, a you know a, a pressure to water down the message of the gospel. Uh, so that would be my reservation. And because you want to be inclusive, and the more popular you are, you want to include anybody, and then to maintain the popularity and the favor and the people liking you, uh, you tend to not to to compromise. Uh, they tend to compromise the gospel. Well, the final question is, do you think this, uh, they spread the gospel or hurt it? I think, I think both. Um, I I have seen cases where uh, the song might not be theologically challenging, but yet it brings people, uh, you know, to the knowledge of Christ. Somehow it leads them to the light. Somehow they end up in having a dialogue with God and uh, and then for them to do theology, the study of God, they would study about God as a result. And so and in other uh, cases, I've seen it hurt Christianity because, uh, you know, the, the artists 
kind of didn't carry a, a lifestyle or um, you know that, that much the song and so sometimes uh, wanting to look like the world wanting to be accepted and loved by and remain and kind of maintain popularity can endanger um, you know like a Christian group and they do forget who they are and even recently there's been controversy uh, with the with the group that are popular uh, and that's because they are scrutinized and and so they are in the eye of the public. So uh, I think I think these arguments can be made for both. Thank you for listening to me. God bless you.